Hi, this is Andrew at Emerge Pediatric Therapy, and I'm here today to talk with you about my favorite sense, proprioception. So you might ask, Andrew, you're a grown adult. Isn't it kind of weird to have a favorite sense? To which I would answer, hey, I'm a pediatric occupational therapist. It'd be weird if I didn't have a favorite sense. Also, that's kind of a rude question. So if you were to ask a follow-up question, one that was more kind and politely framed, you might say, Andrew, what is proprioception, and why is it your favorite sense? Well, proprioception is our sense of our body that we get from our muscles and our joints. It is a hidden sense, and that's one of the things I love about it, is it's not a sense we typically think about. It's not in our traditional five senses, but proprioception is hugely important. Proprioception gives us our feedback of where our body is in space at any given time. So if I was to close my eyes, I could still put out one arm, and then match the other. I can do body matching with my position in space, even with my eyes closed. That is proprioception. It's very different from our sense of touch, which is only on the surface. So that's one cool thing about proprioception. The other great thing about proprioception is that of all the senses we work with in sensory integration theory, uh, it's the only one that is almost universally helpful to uh, kids and adults. So proprioceptive input is generally good for anyone's well-being. Um, so how do we get proprioceptive input? Proprioceptive input is given to us anytime we work our joints and our muscles. And that's another amazing thing about proprioception is that any kind of movement we do can be good for pro. So for older children, uh, one of the greatest sources of proprioceptive input is athletics. Um, so my sport of choice is fencing. And fencing has some pretty amazing footwork that gives us a lot of great input to our legs and our joints. It's said that a fencer's lunge has a more impactful heel strike than any other sport. That is a lot of proprioceptive feedback. Now I want to take a moment to give a shout out to my fencing club here in Durham, Mid-South Fencers Club. Uh, the owners and coaches, Jen and Jeff, are amazing people and they work really great with kids of almost all ages. Uh, and they have been working really hard to find new and creative ways to work with their clients during this pandemic, even though the clinic is closed. So if you have a child that you want to get involved in athletics, either now or down the line, I uh, really suggest you give them a look. Uh, but what about our kids that are younger and aren't ready to participate in structure, uh, structured athletics? Um, so there are a lot of amazing ways to get proprioceptive input for our kids. One is called heavy work just moving things around, carrying things, pulling things, pushing things. Uh, another great way to do it is things like animal walks, so jumping like a frog, getting down on all fours and walking like a bear. Crab walks is a really challenging one on your back where you have to get down and push up on your arms and legs. Um, also, any sort of um, activity on a playground is usually a good source of appropriate stuff. Or uh, our amazing sensory gym is a great place to get lots of pro pulling on trapeze bars, setting up obstacle courses, moving through things. But the general idea is any chance you have to move your body is a great opportunity to get proprioceptive input. And there are even ways to give kids proprioceptive input that aren't quite in a, in a place to be active. We can give joint compressions where we stabilize two sides of a joint and kind of just give a little gentle push and pull. Um, we can kind of support by giving some gentle pulls and tractions, um, giving a kid a Piggyback ride is going to be a really good source of proprioceptive input. You're going to be holding on to their legs, holding on to their arms. So any chance you have to work with your kid and move your kid and get them some pro is great. Now, an occupational therapist is also going to help you figure out how to put together some of that proprioceptive work with the other sensory inputs that are needed to help your child maintain a proper alert and regulated state throughout the day. So if your child needs a little extra support in getting the right sensory input to help them manage their day, uh, reach out to our amazing team of occupational therapists, and we will help put together a sensory diet that is right for your kid. That's all I have for you today. Uh, again, my name is Andrew at Emerge Pediatric Therapy. Have a wonderful day.